In this video, I will cover uh, different trading strategies and techniques, the type of trading strategies that exist, and some important trading terminologies that you must be familiar with. Let's begin with what trading strategies and techniques are. In simple terms, uh, a trading strategy is a set of rules that a trader follows in order to make some profitable trades in financial markets, no matter what, if it is crypto currency market, if it is stocks market, commodity markets, or any other market. These rules can be based on technical analysis, fundamental analysis, or a combination of both. Trading techniques, on the other hand, are uh, specific methods or tools that traders use in order to implement their trading strategies. Now, let's move on to the different types of trading strategies that exist. But before that, I must tell you, whatever example I make here are just examples. I don't want to break down anything right at the moment. These are just examples. How they get done, we're going to um, have a specific, a dedicated session or sessions uh, to each and every one of them. And we're going to talk about different trading strategies one by one in detail so don't worry one of the most common trading strategies is trend following which involves identifying a trend in the market and then buying or selling based on that trend here's an example first we need to find a trend and mark it with trend line and find if it is in a channel or not uh, there are some rules to do that, which I'm going to talk about later, like this. Then on the bottoms, we're going to buy and on the tops, we're going to sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy like this. And then we're going to take the profits out of the market. Another popular strategy is mean reversion, which involves identifying when a security is overbought or oversold and then buying or selling accordingly. Here's an example. In order to do this, we need some indicators like this one here. And it shows us if uh, the security is in overbought zone or oversold zone. Then we're gonna decide uh, according to our trading strategy uh, whether we want to buy or sell. Other trading strategies include momentum trading, which involves buying or selling based on the speed and direction of a security's price movement and scalping, which involves making numerous small trades throughout the day in order to profit from small price movements. There are many more trading strategies out there, but these are some of the most popular ones. Now that we've covered different uh, types of uh, trading strategies, let's talk a little bit about uh, different trading terminologies. The first thing you must be familiar with is leverage, which is the ability to control a large amount of money. Meanwhile, you're having a small capital account. Leverage can be a really powerful tool uh, for traders in order to take really good profits out of the market. But in the meantime, it can be really risky and increase their uh, chance of risk and the chance of loses, uh, big loses, of course. So uh, we're gonna talk about this uh, in risk management sessions and working with uh, uh, exchanges, don't worry. But uh, to break it down a little bit uh, for you to know what leverage is, it means if you have $100 and you use 10X leverage, it means you time your uh, both profits and loss in 10. So if your uh, profit or loss for $100 is going to be 1% in general, and you use 10x leverage, it means if you get the profit instead of 1%, you get 10% out of the market. And if you lose, you're going to lose 10%. Another important term is margin which is the amount of money that a trader must deposit in order to hold a position in the market. Margin requirements can vary depending on the broker or the exchange and the market being traded. You should also be familiar with terms such as long and short. When a trader takes a long position, they are buying a security with the expectation that its price will increase. 
let's take a look at this example here. So my prediction was that the price goes up. I take a long position in the broker or the exchange, whether I want to trade crypto or uh, stocks or uh, other markets. So if it goes up and hits my target, then uh, I, I'm going to come out of that trade with profit. Otherwise, it's going to be a loss. When they take a short position, they are selling a security with the expectation that its price will decrease. So let's take a look at another example for this time for short position. So here's a short position. As you can see, it's exactly opposite of long position. We just locate a position that think that the price will go down from there. How to do that, don't worry, we're going to talk about that later on. But we're going to take a short position. So short means selling, long means buying. From now on, we are going to use these words instead of buying and selling. Long and short. Long, buying, short, selling. Other important trading terminologies include stop loss, which is an order to close a position if the price of a security reaches a certain level. What does it mean? It means I enter a position with, let's imagine, $1,000. The amount of loss which I can bear and I can tolerate is $100. And I don't want to lose more than $100 during this trade or after this trade, let's say. So I set a stop loss when I want to uh, take a trade. And I set the order. I give the order to the broker or the exchange that I do not want to lose more than $100. I don't want to lose more than this. I cannot tolerate more than more loss than this so if the price goes against your position so you have a long position and the price goes against you it's going to hit your stop loss so you are going to uh, lose uh, some amount of money which you can tolerate but if you don't lose a stop loss the price will go and, and can keep going and in that case it can just wipe out your whole uh, account and that happens and still is happening uh, to lots of people who are not using stop loss how to do that we're gonna learn how to do that in risk management sessions don't worry we have a lot to talk about that a lot believe me and take profit which is an order to close a position when a certain level of profit has been reached so it's exactly like a stop loss but it's for profit not for loss so we're gonna set an order and tell the broker and ask the broker or the exchange to close the position after reaching a certain amount of profit in conclusion understanding trading strategies and techniques uh, is an important part of being a successful trader by knowing different types of trading strategies that exist and the important trading terminologies, you can develop your own trading strategy and implement it effectively. Thank you for watching this introduction to trading strategies and techniques. Uh, if you like the content that I'm creating for you, please hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, so you're gonna be the first one to be informed when I'm gonna upload a new video. Please share my videos with your friends uh, so they, they can get the benefit out of this free and effective course to how to become a trader.